A silent navy of sea drones is now patrolling Taiwan's coast, uncrewed, stealthy, and capable of carrying massive explosive payloads. This is Taiwan's new line of defense, the Sea Shark 800. Designed for speed, invisibility, and precision, these drones draw direct inspiration from Ukraine's successful Black Sea tactics and are already reshaping how Taiwan plans to defend its waters. In this episode, we'll uncover how these drones work, what the swift and sudden initiative means for Taiwan's military, and why this low-cost, high-impact strategy could change the balance in the Taiwan Strait and possibly influence the future of maritime defense worldwide. Sea Shark 800, the stealthy game changer. Taiwan's Sea Shark 800 is not your average drone. It's a stealthy, explosive packed surface vessel built by Taiwanese tech firm Thunder Tiger. This unmanned sea vehicle can carry up to 1,200 kilograms. The inspiration behind this drone came from Ukraine's game changing use of similar maritime drones in the Black Sea. Ukraine's small, fast, and remote-controlled boats have disabled and damaged multiple Russian ships, proving that even small nations with smart tools can deter larger powers. Taiwan took notice, and now it's applying the same principles to its own defense. What makes the Sea Shark 800 a true strategic asset is its versatility. It can be used for surveillance, direct attack, or area denial missions. Because it doesn't require a crew, it can be deployed in risky areas without endangering personnel. And because it's small and relatively inexpensive, Taiwan can build and deploy them in large numbers, creating a network of uncrewed sea predators that swarm and confuse enemy ships. Thunder Tiger's chairman has explained how the drones can turn Taiwan's geography into an advantage. With enough drones scattered along the coastline, Taiwan can build an invisible wall of deterrence. Enemy forces wouldn't know where these drones are hidden or when they might strike. That unpredictability is part of what makes them so powerful. These drones also carry strategic psychological weight. They don't need to sink an enemy fleet. Just being out there, undetected and ready, can force adversaries to slow down, overthink, and spread out. In a real-world conflict, that hesitation could be critical. Taiwan isn't treating this like a tech demo. The Sea Shark is part of a national defense program, not a lab experiment. It's meant to be deployed, integrated into operations, and scaled. Thunder Tiger, along with other companies, is participating in national defense showcases to test and present their capabilities to Taiwan's military. The Sea Shark 800 marks the start of a bold new approach, making defense smarter, not larger. In the next section, we'll look at how this drone fits perfectly into Taiwan's larger strategy of asymmetric warfare. Asymmetric warfare, smarter defense, not bigger fleets. Taiwan knows it can T-match China's military power ship for ship or jet for jet. Instead, it's doubling down on asymmetric warfare, using low-cost, high-efficiency systems like drones, missiles, and AI-enhanced tech to level the battlefield. Sea drones fit perfectly into this strategy, unlike traditional warships which cost billions and require massive crews. Drones like the Sea Shark 800 are compact, affordable, and fast to build. They can be deployed in swarms, making them harder to defend against. If just one drone makes it past enemy defenses, it could deal serious damage to a much larger ship. This isn't just a budget decision, it's strategic thinking. Asymmetric warfare turns Taiwan's weaknesses into strengths. By focusing on mobility, unpredictability, and precision strikes, Taiwan can shape any potential conflict to its advantage. Sea drones are a textbook example of this shift in strategy. They're small, smart, and lethal when used correctly. Taiwan's defense ministry has launched the Swift and Sudden Initiative, aimed at transforming how its military thinks and responds. With a budget of around 27 million already committed to the sea drone program, Taiwan is signaling that this isn't just a one-off experiment. 
it's building a long-term capability. What makes this especially effective is how these drones integrate with existing systems. Taiwan already has coastal radar, early warning systems, and a growing fleet of aerial drones. Sea drones complete the triangle, air, sea, and ground, all feeding into a defense network that works in real time. Commanders could track threats, launch drones in minutes, and respond before an enemy even reaches striking distance. There's also growing collaboration between Taiwan's defense sector and private companies. Thunder Tiger is just one of more than a dozen firms involved. By inviting innovation from the private sector, Taiwan is speeding up development and creating an ecosystem of defense tech that's agile, scalable, and constantly evolving. The drones also offer another benefit, survivability. In a high-stakes scenario, losing a drone is far more acceptable than losing a manned warship. That means Taiwan can take bold risks without the human cost, which is essential in asymmetric strategy. As we move to the final core section, we'll examine why this strategy is gaining urgency. Driven by growing military pressure from China and Taiwan, S need to respond in real, immediate ways. Responding to pressure. Why this matters now. Military pressure on Taiwan has been rising fast. Chinese warships, aircraft and drones are regularly seen around Taiwan's airspace and territorial waters. Major military drills have taken place just miles from the island's coast, showing a clear message. China wants to project dominance and readiness. This growing tension is pushing Taiwan to modernize and prepare at speed, and sea drones are a critical part of that response. They offer Taiwan a way to stretch its defense reach without breaking its budget or escalating the situation unnecessarily. The logic is simple but powerful. Instead of relying on a few big ships or missile systems, Taiwan can create layers of low-cost, high-risk zones that any opposing fleet must think twice before entering. The Sea Shark 800, with its high payload and long range, allows Taiwan to patrol its surrounding waters with invisible threats. Enemy ships might never know where these drones are, and that's the point. This isn't just about defense, it's about creating deterrence. If an opposing force knows that every step forward carries real risk, they're more likely to pause, recalculate, or even back off. And in modern conflicts, that moment of hesitation can be enough to prevent escalation or give defenders time to respond. Beyond technology, there's also the political and strategic message. Taiwan is saying, we're not trying to match you head to head. We're retrying to make any aggression far more costly than you re-willing to pay. That's a powerful position and one that fits the realities of the Taiwan Strait today. Government officials have confirmed more funding is on the way and military expos are showcasing even more variants of sea drones. It is clear that Taiwan sees these systems not just as gadgets, but as a cornerstone of future defense planning. The Sea Shark 800 and its peers don't need to dominate the seas. They need to create enough doubt to hold the line, and that's what makes them so revolutionary. In a world where bigger isn't always better, Taiwan is betting on smarter, smaller, and stealthier to keep its defenses strong and its future secure. Let us wrap up with a quick look at the bigger picture and why this development might be one of the most important shifts in modern naval defense. The Sea Shark 800 represents more than just a new weapon. It's a new mindset. It's Taiwan's answer to overwhelming odds. Build smart, stay unpredictable, and always make the cost of conflict too high. With stealthy sea drones, a growing tech sector, and a focused strategy of asymmetric defense, Taiwan is crafting a new blueprint for how small nations can defend themselves against larger forces. These aren't just remote-controlled boats. They are tools of deterrence, precision, and resilience. As military technology evolves, Taiwan's sea drones might just become the silent guardians reshaping 21st century maritime defense.